Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and I have my kids here if, if there's any sounds over there, that's why. So I wanted to do a video about um, Doodle Robots Challenge for using Crayola Colors of the World in a page. And I actually mentioned it anyway before I even saw her video and she, she told me about her her ch her challenge and it's like I think um I had mentioned that maybe I'll do a page in here with those only those colors cuz I didn't use them yet but because of of her cha her challenge I just it motivated me to do it quicker I probably would have waited a couple of months uh knowing me probably would have been a couple of months so this um book is by Jen Racine and I love her her style. She's also on Instagram. She's really, really sweet. So I had done a couple of pages in here. I'll show you what I did do already. And there's two, um, there's two, uh, copies of each image in this book. Let's see what else did I do. I did a couple in here. Did that one and that one. So I did um, with the Crayola Colors of the World, this page right here. And I mainly used uh, pretty much mostly the Crayola um, the Colors of the World. And um, I did do a little shading with pencil, tiny bit, and a tiny bit of gel pen, but mostly like, mostly it's just the, um, the markers, so the colors of the world. You guys. Sorry. Um, I use, let's see, where is it? Uh, like these, I think maybe these two jelly rolls. Sorry, guys. Uh, these two jelly rolls, and um, that's pretty much it, honestly. So it is with these markers. So that was a lot of fun. And I wanted to show you something cool because... Um, I really like the color palette of, it reminded me that I love pink and brown together is a wonderful uh, combination that I love. Even in fashion, if you have like a pink sweater with brown pants or something like that, it's just cool. Like a, it's just a good combination. So pink and brown, uh, I wanted to show you, I, I, this is like totally not related to coloring, but I did a pink and brown journal. I, I told you guys I do other crafts or I did. So this is like what we call a junk journal, a raggedy junk journal. And the theme was pink and brown. So I thought I would show you. And you could use this as a scrapbook, like I could put photos of my kids. It's not done, but there's stitching and tea dyed paper um, in here. Everything is pink and brown. I guess I did use a little red or like maroon and stuff, but is that a nice combination, pink and brown? So I just wanted to show you my pink and brown journal since... We're talking about pink and brown. This is what I, um, my other side of crafting that I didn't really show on that channel. This is sewn, actually sewed bits of paper in here. So that was my pink and brown journal. And I stitch, like everything here is hand stitched and tea dyed fabric and paper. And <laughs> one time I took this to the beach and I was like stitching and somebody came and was like, this is amazing. <laughs> anyway, that's the pink and brown. It kind of goes with, with that page, I thought. And I wanted to say that I thought it would be cool to do a pink and brown page in here. In Enchanted Forest, it would be a really nice... Uh... See, I already did actually, I had started one with pink and brown, kind of this feather page. Maybe I could keep going with that. And then these could be useful. This is an old page, so I think pink and brown is a great combination, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Doodle Robot, for telling me about that. And um, I think it would also be nice to use colors of the Crayola Colors of the World in this one, the Botanical Mandalas book, which is beautiful. Botanical Mandalas. I did that one. See what else I did. That one. This one and that one. So 
So I think it would be really nice to do a pink and brown mandala in one of these. Isn't this a beautiful book? I love this book. I really need to. Um, beautiful, beautiful book. By the way, the author, Dominica Stapa, has a YouTube channel. She does beautiful artwork. Um, I believe she recently became a mother, so congratulations. And she's an amazing artist. She does these beautiful prints. I want to get one one day. She has, an, I think, an Etsy shop. She also has an actual shop. I don't know if it's in Ireland or some something like that, but check her out. She's on Instagram. One more thing I wanted to show you is I got these at the th since we're talking about pink and brown. Is whoops, I got these at the thrift store. How cute are these? <laughs> pink and brown, and I use them for pencils. You guys know that I like to use cups for pencils, so. I actually organized my space. I need to do a video about that. But yeah, I wanted to show you that. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.